Hi, welcome to All About WordPress. So, in this video, we are going to learn about how to set up price based on country for WooCommerce. So, this is the plugin that we are going to use in this video. So, this plugin helps you to detect the location of the user and show the price accordingly. So, for example, if the if it's in the US, the user from the US will be seeing your products in the US dollars. And for Saudi Arabia, it will be like in the Saudi Arabia. So this will help detect the location and show the prices and the currency based on their location. So this is a very nice switcher plugin. So let's see how to set it up. So this is their WordPress plugin page and uh, this plugin is also having a free version. So this also basically provides the functionality. So you can either download the plugin from here or you can directly do it from your WordPress dashboard. So just go to plugins add new section and just search for it. Here it is, just click on the install now and then click on the activate for activating the plugin. Activate. So you can see the plugin is activated. This plugin is also having their pro version. So here it is. So, so this is their pro version pricing and its features. So you can go through it accordingly. So currently let's deal with the free version. So let's go to the settings. So you can see here there are two tabs general options and pricing zone. So pricing based on their billing country or you can either do it as billing country or shipping country. So let me keep it as the default one billing country itself and then again let's put on shipping for if you want to make any exchange rates to be applied to the shipping cost then you can enable this or well, this is okay and let me enable the test mode because i don't know how this uh, us us people or saudi people or anybody from any parts of the country gonna see it so if I enable the test mode, then I can select the country and use my private browser window to see it so that I can make sure it's working fine. The plugin is working fine. So I'll show you how to do it. So anyway, I'm going to enable the test mode. If you're going in the live, you can use VPN for testing it. So if it's in the test mode, you can search, actually select the country which you want to see, but you have to use the private window to see it so currently I have just made my test country to be US so and my original one is in Indian rupee and also when you go to the pricing zone section you have to add the pricing zone so I'm gonna add one zone So one INR is equal to let's see it's 0 0.013. So here we have to enter it manually, but if you are using the pro version, it will be automatically updated. Oh god, I just forgot to change the currency. Okay. So save the changes. So I have successfully added one zone. So I can see one message over here. Geolocation. I have to on the geolocation. So let me 
enable it. So Over it, we put it as geolocate and save the changes so that it will detect the customer location and show the prices. Okay, now let me go to my zone pricing. So, okay, so I have currently enabled the US and I had added one pricing zone. You can see I have added one pricing zone. So, let me test it. So, I'm gonna open my site in private window. So before that, let me show you how it is shown here. As you can see, my site is in IENA. So in my test mode, I have changed it to US. So in my private window, it should give me the pricing of US. You can either go to Chrome Incognito or whichever the browser you are using, just go to the private window of that. So I have opened it over here. So okay, to the shop page. Now you can see it detects as US, my location to be US. Now as I have enabled as US over there, just for the test mode. So you can see my, I can see the pricing in US. So our configuration is successfully done. So let me try to add one more zone. So let's confirm. Okay. So let me add a new zone. So it will be in our to pound. I already searched it zero point zero one zero. Okay, save the changes. So I'm gonna enable this as my another zone test zone. So let's see how the UK people say it. So okay, save the changes. Now I have to open this again in the private window. Go to the shop page so now you can see i am seeing the currency based on the location that's all uk and it's in pounds so this is how you configure it and so you can either see the prices by the exchange rates or you can also manually add it so let me show you in the product section if you want to manually add price for the prices i mean for the currencies you can do that too so I'm going to just take a product and you can see there is an option over here. So you can see my two currencies that I have already added over here. So here I can, can see either I can calculate the prices by exchange rate or I can set the prices manually. So now we, we have seen the prices based on the exchange rate. So if you want to give manually, you can just provide it over here in your dollar rates. The same way goes for UK also. So if you don't want it, you can just use the exchange rates itself. So this is how you configure it. It's very easy to and this is very helpful actually. So the users does not have to switch the currency and see what's the pricing according to their location. So this is pretty much easy to configure also. And it's pretty much working. So the big problem. And if you want to add it as a switcher, you can also enable a switcher if you want to see other country pricing modules. And for that, you can just go to appearance widget section. So that there will be an option in the site. So you can switch the currency and also you can watch it. So this is here. You just drag and drop it wherever you want it to be appeared. 
so i'm just going to put it in the sidebar for now so it's done okay now i'm going to see it over here in my site in the shop page so you can see here when switching if i want to switch this and just see it accordingly again you can see that you can see here so there point if i'm going to switch to uk this is for uk so both are possible if you want to add it as a switcher and also if you want to add it as a detection mod based on the location so both are possible so it's very really easy so that the customer feels much more ease to purchase and they can even compare with the prices and so just for seeing according if they need it so this is how we does it so i hope you understand it so thank you for watching the video see you in next video